Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the Poly Tunnel this morning. I've got a requested video uh, about uh, Angrecums and how I grow them. Uh, mostly um, Angrecums are from Madagascar, Africa, so um, I grow mine in the summer months, usually a lot, a lot of water, even this time of year I give them a lot of water still and quite a bit of feed, probably more feed than most people give them um, and they seem to like it as you can see look how big that is that is the uh, Angrecum Crestwood that I got a while back and uh, at Webster Flea Market and it's it was only like maybe half that size and it suffered through a rat attack when we had the rat problem and uh, anyway Richard wanted this video so here you go Richard um, I grow mine in inert media mostly. I've only got one that is in an organic, but it's inorganic and organic mix. And it's this one here. That's Angrecum sesquipedale. Now that's in Orchiata bark. It's got a little bit of or Orchiata, but it's mostly charcoal, lime rock, and uh, lava. And uh, I do use time release fertilizer in these along with liquid fertilizer. But most of my angrecums are in inert media uh, because it doesn't break down and I prefer it with angrecums uh, for the simple fact that it doesn't break down. Like uh, this is a angrecum magdalenae which is just growing fabulous. Um, that's in straight charcoal. Um, this here is a angrecum alabaster and that's in um, Hydraton, and there's a few pieces of lava rock in the bottom of that, just to give it uh, good drainage, and it's growing excellent. Um, this one here is a uh, one I got from Seattle Orchids, Lies Star, which is Limford White Beauty, by Sesquipedale Augustifolium. So, uh, my friend Terry got one of these too. Anyway, they're all doing really good. All of the angrecums are doing good. You can see on a leaf here, that's where the rats chewed on that last year, um, or early this season. And uh, that is the uh, angrecum crestwood, which is just getting huge. So, and it's in uh, lava rock and charcoal also. But I prefer lava rock and charcoal because um, I don't have to remove it. I can just either A, bust the pot and throw it in another pot. Even if I don't take the old pot away, I can just do pot in pot potting method. And uh, I don't have to worry about the uh, media because it's not going to break down. So that's why I decided on going with inert media like Hydraton or something like that, charcoal. And I find they, and they really do like it. I mean, they, they've really thrived. Let me give the big Crestwood a spin round here. And you can see all the roots just pounding out of this thing. So I'm going to pause and spin that around for you guys. Okay, so this is the back of the plant. And you can clearly see the spike coming up. But you can also see all the new roots coming too. So, um, and there's the media. That's all charcoal and lava rock. They really seem to love this media for some reason. And they grow like the dickens in it. Uh, for me, anyway. Um, yeah, I fertilize a lot, and I water them a lot. A lot more than what I've seen other people suggest. So, they during the summer months here in Florida, they can really drink up the water. I mean... In the summer months when it's really high temps, it's not unusual for me to water these twice a day sometimes. So, um, just letting you know there. Um, being this is a first time bloom for this, and uh, somebody also said, isn't that the same one that I got at Webster? Yes, it is. I paid $35 for that, and it's absolutely huge, and it's getting all these cakeys on it. It's got like two or three cakeys on it already, so, and they've just um, exploded. I don't know when I'm going to repot it, but uh, 
I hope I can find a pot big enough for it because I've never seen um, a plant like this. The way it's grown has just been incredible. Um, and there's a little bit more of the rat damage from when we had the rats on that leaf. And down here, you can see here that that little blemish on the root is from the rats also, but it did not phase it. It just threw out more roots that said to hell with it. I'm going to grow and I'm happy. So, um, okay, the sesquipedalia I got from Accent Orchids. Oh, hope I don't split the pot. Now I've got that in a plastic pot. I need to, I'm going to have to do a repot on this and get it in some, a uh, little bit different media, I think. Um, it's growing good, don't get me wrong, but I think it can do better. And I don't like plastic for these guys. Well, I don't like plastic pots in general for some things because uh, uh, they tend to go bad here in the Florida heat and cold and hot, cold, hot, cold. It makes them very brittle on some of these things. So, And they only last a very short time, especially the clear ones seem to degrade for me quick. So I bought this in bloom last February for my birthday uh, at the state fair from Accent Orchids, who are also um, society members. And uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's doing real good. I could probably use to fertilize this a bit more. So. But anyway, yeah, they're all doing really good. I've got a few more. I've got uh, uh, Leonis Leonis that's out here, and uh, there's another Angrecoid, which has got a spike on it. That is the Plectromenthus caudatus. Now, that just come in a box, uh, a Vanda box, so that's absolutely no media. So being an epithet, that's kind of a, you can see the spike there. But uh, they're fun to grow. They're to me, they're pretty easy. They like a lot of water and a lot of feed, and they seem to really love uh, inert media. So, But you can use uh, Orchiata. I would go with the big, chunky Orchiata, and I would only recommend Orchiata bark with these guys because regular bark would just break down too quickly, I think. What's this coming out here? I thought we might have another spike coming, but that's a root. So, yeah, anyway, there's not much else I can really tell you. I mean, they like warms, uh, warm temps, so, you know, you do have to keep them warm, most of them, unless they're a cooler growing one that grows way up in the mountains. So, and there are a few of those. So, but all of the ones I grow are warm growers, warm to hot growing, so, because I can't do the cool ones. I tried, I tried, I think it was Equitans that I got. And boom, within a month, it, it was toast. So, And I think my um, shade cloth is here. The post office is here. So anyway, with that, guys, um, thank you for joining me. Love and peace. Keep it growing. And we'll see you on the flip side. And on the way out, we'll check this beautiful Darwinara Charm Blue Star. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's real pretty. I don't know if it's fragrant. Let me pause and see. Nope, no scent. But anyway, guys, have a good one. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Have a great day. Bye-bye.